September 1996. The two away defeats had put Town under severe pressure and they needed to put some more points on the board to get away from the foot of the conference table. Three of their next four games were at the Shea and this presented the perfect opportunity for them to make some progress up the league table. The recovery plan seemed to be working fine as Gates ever beaten 2 0. But a spanner in the works came in the form of newly promoted Russian and Diamonds, who, despite going one down to Norbury's third goal of the season, came back strongly to end up 3 1 winners. A fourth consecutive away defeat then followed at Altrincham 2 1, a result which left town next to the bottom of the table with just two wins from eight outings and just one point above Bromsgrove Rovers, who occupied the bottom spot. Travelling town fans at last had something to cheer about as the Shearmen took a break from the conference to play in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup at North West County's second division side Oldham Town. Although the manner of their 3-2 win over a side several divisions below them in the footballing pyramid did leave something to be desired. Back in league action the Shea recorded their second 4-1 win of the campaign at home to Stalebridge Celtic and then picked up their first away point in a goalless draw at Hayes. But this improvement turned out to be short-lived as Town crashed 3-0 at the Shea to mid-table Telford United. The Shea men's season was now beginning to take something of a familiar and depressing shape. A development not unnoticed by a group of fans who stayed behind, chanting for manager John Carroll's departure. He was not sympathetic to their wishes and reiterated his determination to take the club forward. The disenchanted fans had even more ammunition on the last Saturday of the month as Town suffered one of their worst humiliations in their long history, a 4-1 home cup defeat at the hands of Unibond League outfit Bishop Auckland in the FA Cup. This result caused demonstrations outside the players' tunnel demanding the resignation of Carroll and Rodaway. It had been a traumatic month, but surely the only way now was up. Or was it? <laughs>